Hey, this is Chris with Vid Society. Now, a while back, I did a video on a voice generation tool called Murph. But what I want to do in this video is I want to take you through it again and show you. It's been a while since I've done an update on this. This is a tool that a lot of people use, and I'm going to show you why. So this is the inside of it, and I'm going to show you how I created this video. I'm going to let you listen to it, listen to some of the voices, and show you how it all works. But first, let's jump over to the home page here because there's a lot of information on here i recommend you guys go through it because depending on the types of videos that you make you're going to find whether or not murph is for you or not but honestly as you scroll down through here on the home page you can see it this product is made for just about anyone and if we go on down there's actually some examples right here of advertisements and promotional videos and i'm going to let you listen to just a couple of these but obviously if you want to listen to all of them which is quite a few everything from advertising and promotional to e-learning videos and even explainer videos and podcasts you can do all that here on the home page so let me go ahead and just play a couple of these for you uh, this one here i really like introducing fabchic.com it's the number one fashion destination for top brands at up to 75% off. Great style. Drive away your hunger pangs with Quickie. Order your favorite meal from hundreds of restaurants in your neighborhood. Delivered at your doorstep in 15 minutes. And so you can see one thing that really makes this stand out isn't just the audio. It's the combination of putting everything together, not just the voice, but the audio, the video or the images, the media that you have. And you can do all that within Murph. Now, you do have to upload your own media. So if you want to use your own videos, you can upload that. If you want to use your own background music, you can upload that. You can put it all together on a timeline, which we're going to look at here in just a minute. But if we scroll on down through here, you're going to see there's some on learning. So maybe this one here on COVID training. While the severity of COVID-19 has reduced, the disease hasn't gone away. It's still important to take proactive measures in our daily life. And so these voices, they sound really good. Some of them a lot better than others. Uh, but uh, the ones that I'm going to show you, I'll show you the ones that I like the best. But we'll listen to, let's just listen to one more here. Welcome to the team. This is a quick video on how to set up Slack for collaboration. Our team uses Slack for internal communication. Follow this simple five step. Now, one thing I like about this is you can hear with her voice in this how she has emphasis. And, and you can adjust all that within the text in your own studio dashboard. So let's go ahead and jump into this. If you want to learn more about Murph, though, you can hover over this, over products, and go to each section and it'll give you more details about how everything works, the different types of videos you can create, and the pricing. We're gonna look at that here in just a minute, but like I said, they do have a free option where you can go in and you can try all of the voices. So this is inside of one of my dashboards here and just a few projects I created as demos. The one for Intro to Crypto is what we're gonna be looking at, but if you want to start off really fast in this and see some of the demos and how they have them all set up, all you have to do is come over here where they have pre-made templates and you can click on any one of these and it'll import the entire project. And then you can just start off from there. Uh, but we're going to jump back to my projects. We're going to go into this one. Obviously, to create a new project, you would just click on create new project and it takes you to a blank dashboard. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. It's going to open up my dashboard and it's going to show you what I've created so far. So with this one, what I did is I added some content in here. Now for me, I do not like to write content. So what I will do is I use another service called Article Forge. You can try that out for free also at tryarticleforge.com. I'll put that link below the video also. And what it does is it creates articles for you based on keywords. And so what I did is I just go here and I'll go to new article and I'll come in here, which actually this is the last one that I was just trying to create and I forgot about it, but you can enter some keywords, your article length, all the way up to 1500 words. And then you can create the article, give it a few minutes and then click here to see the result. And it, it writes out this complete article for you that actually sounds really, really good. And you can use this for whatever you want to. And so lots of times I will use this as content for creating my videos. That way I don't have to come up with something myself and spend a day or two doing that. I'll come in here 
you can click on add block and then all you have to do is paste your text in here. That's it. Now, I'm not going to do this just yet because I've already got some content created here, but that's what I did here. I just pasted in this text and it broke it up into different sentences. And from here, what we can do is we can edit this per block. So here we have one little block. We can listen sentence by sentence. I can also change who reads it. So I can come over here and click on this actor and you can see the ones I have starred here. These are the ones that I like the best. There are a few in here that even though they're like the, it says it's pro to me, they have a little bit of a robotic voice to it. Um, so far, there's never been any type of a voice changing software or tool that I've used where some of the voices didn't sound a little bit robotic. It's just, but it is getting better. It's getting much better. And these voices here, they actually do sound really good as you heard earlier. So these are the voices I like. And I used three different ones. You can see here for this block, I used Marcus. For this one here, I am using uh, Brianna. And then for this one, I'm using Marcus again, but we can change that if we want to. Let's just say we wanna use maybe Ava for this one. I'll go ahead and select her and then it changes it out. Now you have other options you can do within each one of these blocks. So you can click within the text, you can change it, edit it, you can change the pitch, the speed. You can even come over here and click on emphasis and you can add emphasis to your words and then preview it. Now, obviously the more customization you do like that, the longer it's gonna take, but the better it's going to sound. Now down here below is your timeline. You can see the microphone. So this is gonna be the content that you see up here. Now, what I love about Murph is that you can, you can copy and paste text in here. You can import a script if you have something like that. You can even do something called a voice changer. And this is a really cool feature. So basically what you do here is you record your own voice saying a script, but then you can use any of these actors to say it instead of you. So what it does is it takes the transcript from your voice, it adds it in here, and then you can pick a character to read it. That way, if you don't want to hear your own voice, you can let another character do it for you. So down here at the bottom, after we added the content in, you can see I also added some video clips down here. So all you have to do to add that is click on add media and you can upload your own files right here into your library. You can also import via a URL. So you can import a video from YouTube, video, daily motion. And if you want, you can only import the audio only. That's a pretty neat feature. It stores it all here. You just select it, add it to your timeline, and it adds it. Over here, you can see you can add images, video, or audio. All right, jumping back over here. So once you have this added, if you come down and click on play, it has to generate everything. If you make a change of text, if you make a change on the timeline, you're gonna see down here, it has to rebuild the preview. And once the preview is done, all you have to do is click the play button. Now over here on the right hand side, you do have some options. So if you click on the volume settings, it lets you adjust the volume of what is read or of the video or of the music. So this is really good because when you first put everything together, maybe the background music is too loud. Well, you can adjust it right here or maybe the how it's read isn't loud enough. You can move that up or down. And so all that's here. Now it also has something called auto ducking. It says automatically reduces the volume of the background track when the voiceover is played. So that's pretty neat too. Then you have your video settings. So if you're exporting this as a video instead of an audio, you do have these settings where you can export it in HD quality, landscape, portrait, square, squarish, or your own custom resolution. And then you have the option to turn the subtitles on or off. And then we're gonna click play and listen to it. As the demand for crypto increases, more businesses are considering using it as a form of payment. It could allow companies to access new sources of capital and liquidity and provide an attractive alternative to cash. Cryptocurrencies are emerging as the new paradigm for money. They remove the need for centralized intermediaries to police and enforce trust in transactions between two parties. This eliminates the single point of failure that can cause a global crisis. The most prominent cryptocurrency is Bitcoin. It was the first and is the most widely used. Okay, so that gives you an idea. You can see how amazing some of these voices sound. And then when you add it with some background music and then uh, even some video, if you're exporting it as a video instead of just audio, you have that option. And it really just puts everything together 
and you can have something really nice created for a fraction of the price is what you could pay somebody to do it or even just to do the voiceover for you. Now, once this is done, you can come up here and you can share it. So if you click on share, it says here, you can share your project with your team for feedback, which will give you a link. And they also have your options for exporting. So you can export a video if that's what you're creating. You can export the voice only. You can export the voice plus the music, or you can just export the script if you want to, which makes it really good if maybe you're uploading the video to YouTube and you want the transcript to be uploaded to, you can do that right here. Now, if we jump back over to the home page and go up to pricing, you're going to see here, there is an option here where you can try it for free. And so you can try all 120 plus voices. You can see here what you get along with it. Basically, it's just to try it to see if it is for you and what you're trying to do. And if you do, there's options for basic or for pro very affordable. It's only $26 a month. If you subscribe yearly, there's also the option to do monthly. It is just a little bit more, but maybe you don't want the full year. You only need to make a few videos that's here and you can see what all you get along with that. Maybe you don't want to subscribe monthly. They do have what they call a one-time pack for $9, which gives you 30 minutes of voice generation, plus all the features of the basic plan. And everything else is broke down here that you can check out along with some frequently asked questions you may be interested in. So if you're looking for a voice generation tool, this may be for you. Tell me what you think below. That's it for this video, guys. Have a great day.